and welcome to Greg's Kitchen, where the food is finger licking. Check out this apron. Isn't it a beauty? My sister bought it for me. Thanks, sis. Well, today I wanted to show you a very quick, simple, easy party food that will have your child being the talk of the daycare center. Now, this only has three ingredients as well, which makes it even better. So come on, let's get started. Okay, so what you're gonna need is some pre-made caramel. It's the top and fill caramel, it's really nice. You're gonna need some biscuits or cookies of some kind. If you've got chocolate, great, but I'm gonna use some ginger nuts for this because they're pretty good. And you'll also need some cooking chocolate. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a little tiny cupcake baking tray because if I did, it would make this job a whole lot easier and faster. But because I don't, I'm gonna to have to improvise and make them one by one. But that's all right. At least it will give you the idea. So what I'm going to do is use this measurer. Now you want it to be smaller than the actual biscuit that's going to go in the top. Let me show you. Well for starters I'm going to put the cookie in, microwave, for 20 seconds. Okay the 20 seconds is up. Now I'm going to get this cookie. It should be nice and flexible. It might be a little bit warm. I'm going to stick it in this mold and push it down so it makes a little cup. Now if I had a special tray I'd be able to stick about 12 in and do it all at once but unfortunately I'm too stingy to buy one. So after a few seconds that's ready to come out and it's made a nice little cup like that. Now when you're doing this be very careful because these cookies are really hot and uh, probably wouldn't recommend the kids do it. If you're doing it this way, oh, ooh, next. So I've done a couple of these now, and as you can see, they're all beautifully cupped. Time to add the caramel. Got the caramel. This is great, this stuff, it's already pre-made. Mmm, yum. So now, just gonna get a bit of a spoonful and just drop it in. Well that was easy. So easy I could do it. Okay next it's time to melt the chocolate. So I'm going to put this in the microwave for about a minute on a lower heat. Oh man that's hot. Okay so I'll give that a stir. Stick it back in the microwave again. For another minute. Anyway, once you've got that melted, now it's just time to get a bit of chocolate. And put it over the top like that. It's probably best to follow the instructions on how to melt that chocolate actually. That might have helped. Now I'm going to put this in the fridge for a bit, let it cool down and then I'm going to tuck into one and see what it tastes like. Okay, well I've given these a little bit of time to cool down, so let's try one, see what they're like. Mmm! <laughs> that is so good. I think it tastes better than the real thing. Mm. Oh, very rich though. Mm. Oh, wow. Man, they are super rich. Well, I hope you enjoyed that recipe. If you want to see some more, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time on Greg's Kitchen. Outro song, please. Oh, yeah.